thanks man don't mention bro you stay the night it's quite late nah i will just go home okay bro i don't want you soaking over that girl anymore she's not worth it i will react same way if tables were turned you can't totally blame her her reaction and actions are justified that's overacting to me it's all that big mouthed girl's fault if she hadn't told her those nonsense, all this would have easily been sorted. Some people wouldn't be that mad. You have a point. Girls and problems are an item. I don't think I can go the extent you did for a woman though. She even slapped you. I wish she would keep slapping me if that squares her anger and make her forgive me. Forgive you for what? Car, you did nothing. You didn't offend that girl. She's just a drama queen. Everyone has a past. Who knows what she has done in her past? I should have told her about mine from the onset. It came as breaking news to her and on top of that, she discovered the guy who jilted her is my best friend. She should get out her bed. Didn't I apologize? I even returned her money. What else does she want? I think I'm done. Of course you are. I don't ever want to see you soaking over her. Move on. Get another girlfriend. Do anything to forget about her. Because if you ask me, she is not worth it. If she truly really loves you, she would make a little effort to look past her heart and anger and at least hear you out. Makes she chop shit her beg. <laughs> Good night, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, thanks a lot. Drive safe. Madam, I have to go home to my husband. It is quite late and I didn't tell him I will be sleeping over at your place. Please, mom, don't go. Then you have to come home with me. I can't leave my husband to sleep in your apartment. Let's call dad and tell him we are having a daughter-mom bonding time. He will understand. You are not serious. Leave me alone, Somto. The driver is waiting outside. It is not nice to keep the gentleman waiting. Please, mom, stay the night. Just tonight, please. I can't. Besides, your dad is going to suspect something wrong. And if he asks me, I will not lie to my husband. I will tell him everything. No, mom. Please don't do that. Fine, you can go. Are you sure you'll be fine by yourself? Don't you want to come home with me? I'll be fine, mom. Please lock your doors and keep your phones on. Call if those nuisances come back to bother you. Okay, mom. Thank you. Alright, dear. Take care. Sweet dreams. The guys I recommended you to said you never showed up for the meeting. What happened? I'm so sorry about that, sir. I had a crisis. What sort of crisis did you have that could have made you throw away a deal as juicy as that? I was in a messed up state, sir. My girlfriend ended our relationship. I like the fact that you are sincere with me, but I must say, you just sounded very foolish. Are you meaning to tell me you missed out on a golden opportunity to make millions because a woman left you? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, sir. I definitely wasn't thinking at the moment. Yes, you weren't. That was a very foolish move you made. You are lucky I like you. I will give you one more chance. If you mess it up, don't show your face to me ever again. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. About your relationship, I'm sorry it ended. But if it isn't amendable, you have to move on. Life goes on. Be a man and strive to do better in your next relationship. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good. Trust me, you'll be fine. You have spent enough time sucking. It's time to get back to work. See my secretary. She will attend to you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Young people and their relationship drama. So how did it go? I got another opportunity, bro. I'm so excited. I thought it was over for me when I got his email requesting I saw him immediately. You lucky bastard. I know, right? So what excuse did you come up with? I'm sure you must have lied you were sick. I told him the truth, actually. What truth? I told him I had a relationship crisis. You have truly lost your mind, bro. Are you insane? He said I was a foolish man. <laughs> My God. If I were him, I would have slapped you hard on the face. Thank God you're not him. The man is a very nice man. After lashing me, he ended up with a consolation speech and advice to move on and face my work. He said I was lucky he liked me for the first time in my life. I really wished I knew you my dad. I've never been shown such affection by a man before. Shut up. What about me? Am I not your daddy? You don't need no other daddy. You are a very irresponsible daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha.
So they proposed to our daughter today. Really? I didn't know that. I know you didn't. You should call the Ajebodesh tomorrow. Alright, darling. Please remind me before I might forget. Sure. So we are preparing for a wedding now. Yes, love. A very big wedding. Becoming in-laws with the Ajebode is a big deal. You can as well start practicing being the next governor of this state. Darling, I told you I want to retire my second term as senator. I don't think I want to go through all the brouhaha of becoming a governor. Don't say that, honey. The people love you. The only thing you didn't have was the financial and political backing. With the Ajibode as our in-laws, it's a done deal. You won't have to lift your finger. Your team will handle everything. Can I at least think about it? What's there to think about? Let me think about it. I'll let you know what my decision is. Fine, but don't take too long thinking about it. Yes, mommy. Lola, I need you to dress and... What is the problem? Why are you crying? Mom, please. I can't marry Tunde. Are you out of your mind? What is wrong with Tunde? Why can't you marry him? Tunde doesn't love me, Mom. He flares up at the slightest provocation. He has been hitting me. Why would you provoke him? If you had behaved yourself, would he hurt you for no reason? Mom, I didn't do anything. He has anger issues and he is a terrible drunk. How is that my fault? I don't want to hear it. But mom, he... I don't want to hear it. Get dressed. We are going to have breakfast with your in-laws to discuss the wedding preparations. I want you downstairs looking your best in 15 minutes. Good evening, dad. My darling, you are not asleep. No, dad. I wanted to talk about something. Okay. What is it, my dear? What is it you want to talk about? That can't wait till morning. Go to your room. Don't bother your dad. Dad. Let's talk in the morning, my dear. You don't want to get your mother upset. Walk like a lady, young woman. She's getting married soon. She's just trying to adjust to the fact that she won't be seeing us as often as she pleases. Don't be too hard on her. She needs you now more than ever. You know that, right? Let's get to bed, honey. It's almost midnight. You can go ahead. I will join you shortly. Don't stay up too late. Good night. How did your lunch date go? Come back here, Lola. What do you want from me, mom? What happened to your face? What do you care? I provoked him as usual. I am tired, mom. I need to rest. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Did that guy did that to you? Is he your husband? It's a long story. A long story? I have time. I don't mind. I have to get home immediately. Else, it's trouble again. If he gets there before me. I can drop you off. No, can you please help me get a cab? I left my phone and paused in his car. Okay, but I need your phone number because I want to hear that long story. I will give it to you. But can you please quickly get me a cab? We need help. This is serious. Stay here. I will get you a cab. So you have been going through all that and your parents still want you to marry that monster? I don't have an option. You do have an option. Walking away from an abuser is an option. My mom will never forgive me. She said it's the only thing I can do for my father who is aspiring for a governorship position. If I may ask, who is your father? Senator Kola. Senator Kola is your father? Yes, he is. And he's watching that bastard turn you into a punching bag, doing nothing about it because he wants to contest for governorship. What sort of a mother is she? Yeah, I was thinking my mother was the worst there on planet Earth. I don't even know her whereabouts and I care less. Long story. <laughs> I will tell you all about it, but not today. I will call you again tomorrow. Good night. I see you can't wait to permanently have your wife by your side. Can you please help me tell her I'm waiting? I have been calling for the past one hour. She hasn't been answering her phone. Maybe she's in the bedroom. Let me go get her. Please have a seat. Lola, open the door. Lola? Lola? What do you want, mom? What do you mean, what do I want? Didn't you see Tunde calls? Tell him to go away. Lola, get dressed and come out right away. You shouldn't keep the young man waiting. 
Since you care about him more than your own daughter, you can as well get dressed and go with him. I don't have the energy to receive any beating today, except you want me dead. Stop this nonsense, Nola. Today is dancing with a bouquet of beautiful rose flowers. Why will he get rose flowers and come all the way if he wants to beat you like you claim? You can accept it on my behalf, mom. I don't mind. Do what you must. I'm not coming out of this room. You stubborn girl. You better remain there for the rest of the year. Gladly. Oh my gosh, he must have left angrily. What do I do with this girl? Where is my phone? I must plead with him not to tell his mother. It will be a disaster. This girl just wants to ruin all my efforts put together for years now. My son, please don't be upset. She's just being shy there. I know and I am apologizing on her behalf. Please don't call off the wedding. Lots of preparation and effort has gone into it already on both sides. I will make sure she comes personally to apologize to you. Please pardon her. She's just being ignorant. Hello? Hello? He ended the call. That girl would be the death of me. She's definitely talking to someone who is causing her to rebel all of a sudden. I hope she's not talking to that girl again. I will definitely find out who she has been talking to and when I do. Mom, I am going over. Enough is enough. You are growing wings day by day, Lola. How dare you talk back at me? You have been disrespectful. No, Mom. I'm just sick and tired of you tossing me around. I'm not going to beg Tunde, no matter what you do to me. You will not only apologize to Tunde, you will apologize to his mom too. She's beginning to question if I raised you properly. I care less what she thinks of me. As long as you have chosen to remain adamant and stubborn, you are not permitted to leave this house until you come to your senses. Mom, in fact, I care less what anyone thinks of me. You can't do that, Mom. I'm not a kid that can be grounded. Try me and see. I will block all your credit cards and call off all your allowances. Let's see how stubborn you remain after that. Fine. I'm a graduate after all. Can't be that hard getting a job with my father's influence. You walk out on your mother. What's the now? Hey, baby girl. It's been a while. You just forgot about me. That's not nice. I'm sorry. Forgive me. How have you been? I'm good. Thank God. I hope you have been good too. Yeah, so you were supposed to give me premium juice the last time we spoke. You haven't forgotten. Alright. Growing up, my mom didn't let me hang out with girls. She claimed they were trouble and would ruin my life. She softly began blackmailing me into dating other women for money with her infamous quote. I've been struggling to raise you since your father abandoned us. This is the only way you can make it up to me. Are you kidding me? Isn't it the responsibility of parents to raise their children? Well, my mom reminded me daily that she did me a favor. So I should be thankful and not be an ingrate. Long story short, I became a giglio and started dating older women. Then I met this girl whom I fell in love with and I wanted to be a better person for her. So I decided to stop dating older women and get a decent job. Not long after I found out my mom had been lying to me all these years. She has been collecting money from my father all this while and lying to me that she was suffering. So sorry about that. But did she break up with you knowing all this? Our relationship ended when she found out about my past. Any girl wouldn't remain in a relationship without initially knowing your truth. Where do you think you are going? To look for the job. Are you insane? What has come over you? I am a graduate. My mates are on the street hustling. I don't see anything wrong in joining them. You were right, I can't keep spending yours and that's money. Do you think getting a job is a walk in the park? If it was that easy, there wouldn't be any brilliant minds on the streets. I should make my own money. I know a lot of those friends who will offer me a job as soon as I show interest. A lot of them have offered me jobs, but you insisted I shouldn't work, remember? And you think they will still employ you if they know you are going against your parents? Let's see how you convince them to go against your dad and I. Then I look for a minor job. Anything is better than staying here and depending on yours and that's money. Drop the car keys. Henceforth, you are only allowed to use anything you buy or bought with your money. 
Ok, ma. Thanks for picking me up. I really appreciate it. It's not in Lola. I'm sorry. You have to go through all this. That's the advantage of living solely off anyone. You are right. Have you had anything to eat today? Nah, I haven't. Okay. Same goes for me and I'm starving. If you don't mind, can you accompany me and watch me as I eat? Is that your way of taking me out for breakfast? Nah, I just want you to watch me. Remember, you are only to use stuffs you get with your own money. <laughs> I'm glad you are laughing. I wanted to see a smile on your pretty face. Let's go before I change my mind. <laughs> Good evening, mom. Where are you coming from? I went to job hunting, mom. What time is it? You went job hunting and you are coming back this late? Mom, I'm tired. I honestly don't have energy for your troubles this evening. You have become totally mannerless and wayward. Go back to where you are coming from. Get out! is locking my door again it must be that my neighbor that likes to borrow everything i wonder what she needs this time come in i haven't locked the door lola hi Santo. please come in and sit down what are you doing out by this time of the night i'm sorry for budging in on you like that no dear it is not a problem at all i'm actually glad to see you it's been quite a while can I please use your guest room just for tonight? Yeah, sure. Thank you. And can I please get something to change into? I'm tired. I just want to sleep. Sure, I will get them for you. Thank you so much. She didn't even tell me why she is here. She doesn't look okay. Something is definitely wrong. I have to find out what is going on with her. <laughs> Hello, mom. I'm fine, mom. Something strange happened tonight. I'm fine, mom. It's Lola. She just appeared at my front door tonight and asked to spend the night. That was the strange thing. She just said she was tired and needed a change of clothes and she went to bed immediately. I felt like she was avoiding any sort of investigation from me. Okay, mom. How is that? Okay, mom. I will, mom. Thank you. Good night. Guy, you scarce. How far now? Oh boy, Adeo, how your side? We thank God. What's up now? I have called you twice now. Your line is always busy. Who are you always talking to? When did you call? Mostly at night. Oh, sorry. It must have been when I was on the phone with Sinetokola's daughter. I don't understand the game, no. What is it that you don't understand? Tell us if you are now in laws with the senator. Now to resign from my work, pack my bag to your house. <laughs> you are an unserious fellow. She's having issues with her mom. She wants her to get married to this guy that has been assaulting her, all because the connection could get the senator a gubernatorial position. What does he need a position for when he is a senator? His tenure is about to be over, and his party has another candidate they want to replace him with. You know, say na turn by turn. Oh, now wow, poor lady. Is she pretty? Who is asking? Me now. Nah. Why are you asking? So I can go and save her from the animal that doesn't know how to treat a lady right. Mr. Man, don't dream of it. She's not available. I will treat her right. Why do you sound like you are jealous? I am the one replying you, that's why. See, come and be going to your office. Ah uh ah. -uh. You are chasing me away. It's me, you Julius. You're all in all. My friend, get out. Look at his head. Don't come and bother me. I'm busy. Nice to meet you, busy. I am Julius. Where the hell did you spend the night? What do you care? Didn't you ask me to leave your house last night? And you left because you have become proud. Where is he supposed to apologize and go to your room? Where are you? Where I am is none of your business, mom. Come home this instant, Lola. Mrs. Ajebode is coming over and I want you here before she gets here. No, mom. I will do no such thing. I am getting ready to go job hunting. Enjoy your date with Mrs. Ajebode. Bye. Don't you dare hand the call on me, you ingrate. You can't even make this little sacrifice for your father. After all the sacrifices he has made for our family, he made sure you never lacked anything. 
I swear to you, Lola, I have had enough of your stubbornness. If you don't come home, you'll be in big trouble. I have to go, Mom. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.